Hi everyone, it's Kenzie here. So, I kind of wanted to do a um, get to know me questionnaire. I have my phone on my computer, um, so if you see me looking um, down to the side, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll have the questions down in the description. You guys can do it if you want. And I also have a link to where I got these questions from. Let's start. I'll just say my name is Mackenzie R. Zarin. Well, kind of. Um, my name, my initials spell out Mr. Z. M-R-Z, Mr. Z. I, would, I guess I would change it to like Anna um, because it's simple. And that's what I was called in German class. I was born in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I've grown up since probably the age of six down here in Georgia. But a lot of people still ask me, you know, where I'm from because I don't have the typical Georgia ask, uh, accent. They probably would have named me Mackenzie. They would have still named me Mackenzie. My favorite... Non-alcoholic drink is coffee. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I can't really function without my coffee. I would say it would either be band or German. Well, when I, I think I was in like elementary school, maybe when I was wa like every morning I would watch The Crocodile Hunter and Ben Ten. Um, but once I got into, like, 5th or 6th grade, I just started watching, like, CSI and Criminal Minds and crime shows. Um, so, yeah, those were a couple of my favorite shows. I can't pick one favorite. Yes, I am. I am not deathly scared, deathly afraid, but I am scared of heights. I love dogs. But I would own a cat because I love them more. <laughs> I keep uh, old greeting cards and letters because it gives me um, memories of, you know, people that may have passed or, you know, when I was, you know, times when I was younger. I do. I take four, yeah, four different medications daily. Three of them are vitamins and one of them is prescription. I'd like to think I do. Whenever I uh, like fall down stairs or um, hit like a knee or something, um, I always yell out like, I'm okay, because I am okay. And it's gotten to the point where my parents actually will say, before I say it, will say it for me. I do have allergies to sulfa drugs, um, and I have a sensitivity to pollen. I actually have two birthmarks. I have one on my right thigh, and I have one on my torso, like right, um, like right by the band of my bra. I just got a text message from my uh, Aunt Pat. Um, well, after calling the police, I would probably call my mom. I would say, um, go snowboarding. I've done skiing the majority of my life, and my sister has done snowboarding, and I really just want to go out and snowboard. I would say it's about, I mean, on a good trip, on a fast trip, it's about 10 hours, but it's probably more like 12 to 15 hours. Uh, outside of living in the U.S., I've been to one. Yes. Um, I've been to Germany, so... I lived there for like three weeks. Well, um, outside of the U.S., uh, 
Germany, inside of the U.S., Hawaii. So those are the two, two in opposite directions, basically. Yeah. I mean, when I was in Germany, I was doing a foreign exchange program. It was really interesting, and I would love to go back to Germany again. I would go, I would love to go to many different places. Um, yeah, I was in karate for four, about four years while I was in high school. I feel that people should speak about their beliefs if they feel comfortable to. And I won't, personally, I will not tell them to keep their mouth shut because if they want to talk about their beliefs, they can. Just for me, don't try to, you know, get me into your religion because I have my own. Take off my shoes. I don't like wearing shoes in the house. Um, I don't like, I don't really like sh wearing shoes at all. Um, I would say probably either my phone or my house keys. I am definitely a morning person. I went to see Godzilla, King of the Monsters, uh, with my boyfriend, like, a, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, I am reading Warriors, uh, Crooked... Crooked Star's Promise? I think. Let me check. Because I have it with me. Yeah. It's uh, Warriors Crooked Star's Promise. I drive a Chevy S10. And I really like it. <laughs> well, besides wanting to learn more in German, I would like to be fluent in... American Sign Language. I have uh, Asperger's. I have um, anxiety. I have depression. I have um, familial hemiplegic migraines. And I just found out like a couple months ago I have high cholesterol. I had, I had a flip phone in fifth grade. So yeah, that was my first phone. Uh, guys. I use guys. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Braylon. I picked out that name because I just saw it and I really liked it. I would say probably, um, Jeremy. Um, or Frederick. Strong names. <laughs> I would probably say smell. I can smell really well um so yeah um i would probably give up my hearing um because it's not it's it is important but it's not as important as sight i let's see I was a cashier at Kroger um, a couple summers ago. I was a security officer last summer at Six Flags. Um, I had a I had a audio production job at the radio that I still currently work at, and now at that same radio station I have. Um, a remote technician job so those are the jobs that I've had I usually like uh, being alone um, reading or playing games or just messing around on my phone well I think the first thing I kind of ever wanted to be was maybe a vet I think but the first thing I actually remember wanting to be is a profiler. Soda, but I respond to pop too. I call, I call it either the state of Florida or the state of Georgia. My advice would be to not let anything get in your way and to keep on keeping on. And, you know, it's, you change day to day. So, 
don't worry about the past. Worry about the future. I would go to probably the UK or New Zealand. Um, inside of the states, I would say um, probably out west, uh, maybe Hawaii. Um, outside of the states, I would say probably Germany because when I was there, I just fell in love with it. London. Um, because I feel like there's just so much more to do in London than in Paris. And plus, I would understand a lot of the people in London. I like chicken. I like beef. But I'm trying to eat more chicken. Coke. I would say... Exceptional intelligence. Because I, I feel like there's more to know, more to learn, than, you know, what I know now. So that's that. I would say probably uh, free healthcare because there's a lot of people struggling with health reasons that they need supplies and they should be able to get it without worrying about money and expenses and everything like that. I would say Halloween because it is so close to my birthday and I really like that and I also like uh, dressing up for Halloween even though I'm almost 23 years old. Seeing as how the summers in Georgia are horrendous, I would have to say winter in Georgia. But I would choose the summer, summers in Wisconsin, more than the winters in Wisconsin. I love both instruments and languages. So I probably would have to say instruments maybe because I can get by on languages. I could use a translation translation app, I could use, uh, I could study a little bit. For me, I think you don't need to be fluent, you just need to be conversational in a language. You just need to be able to hold a conversation. So, that is the end of my questions and as I said earlier, the questions will be in the description below, as well as the link I pulled these questions from. So, like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!